Welcome to iLecture Online. Let's first answer the question, what is a sequence? A sequence is simply a set of numbers. It's not a sum or a difference or anything like that. It is simply a set of numbers that follow a certain mathematical standard or mathematical order. It's a very general description because there's so many different ways in which a sequence can be set up. Here's an example of a sequence where, let's see here, here's an example, or there's another example here, 1, 5, 9, 13, 17, and perhaps when you look at it long enough, you can see the pattern and you can continue the sequence, or we can find the specific mathematical order. So there's different kinds of sequences. There are what we call arithmetic sequences, geometric sequences, something I'll call combination sequences, where there may be a combination of arithmetic and geometric order in the series. Then there's sequences that don't have any particular general equation you can assign to it, but there is a certain mathematical order. So let's go ahead and explore what these are. First of all, the arithmetic sequence. The next number in the sequence equals the previous number plus a constant. So you always keep adding the same constant to the previous number to come up with the next number. When you look at this example here, 1, 5, 9, 13, you begin to see that they all differ by the number 4, which means that the next number, 5, is the previous number plus 4, 9 is the previous number plus 4, 13 is the previous number plus 4, so this can be mathematically written as the current number in the sequence, the nth number, is the previous number a sub n minus 1, which means the previous number, plus a given constant. In this case, the given constant is the number 4. So if the next number is simply a constant bigger than the previous number, we call that an arithmetic sequence. A geometric sequence is where the next number is equal to the previous number times a constant, not added a constant, but multiplied by a constant. So here, if you look at 1, 4, 16, 64, 256, if you look at it long enough, you begin to realize that the next number is four times as big as the previous number. 64 is 4 times 16, 256 is 4 times 64, and so forth, which means the general equation is that the current number in the sequence is equal to the previous number times a constant. In this case, the constant is the number 4. This is the general equation of a geometric sequence. This is the particular equation for this particular geometric sequence. Sometimes they can combine in a one single sequence, such as the numerator would be a what we call arithmetic sequence, and the denominator is what we would call a geometric sequence. Notice that the numerator increases by 1. We simply add 1 to the previous to get the next numerator. And in the denominator, we multiply the previous denominator by 4. So you can see that the numerator increases arithmetically, and the denominator increases geometrically. The general equation can be written as such. a sub n is equal to n divided by 4 to the n power. Notice that n is 1, n is 2, n is 3, n is 4, and so forth. And the denominator becomes 4 to the first power, 4 to the second power, 4 to the third power, and so forth. So yes, we can put a general equation to this particular sequence, indicating the value of each of the numbers in the sequence. And then there's sometimes sequences that do not have, have a general mathematical equation, but the, yet there is a mathematical reason for existence. Now, if you look at these numbers at first, you may look at them and go, well, I don't see any particular pattern. And the answer is yes, there's no particular pattern unless you realize that these are actually the decimal places for the number pi. Pi is 3.14159 and so forth. So we can call a sequence simply the decimals of the number pi. And of course, with some very powerful computers, we've calculated that to over a million decimal places so far, probably more than that. Then there's some other famous sequences, such as the Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence has a very peculiar sequence. It starts with the first element being 1, the second element being 1, now the third element is simply the sum of the previous two elements, the previous and two elements back. So if I add 1 plus 1, I get the third element. That would then be equal to 2. Then the next element is the sum of these two, which would be 3. The next element is the sum of these two, which would be 5. 
The next element is the sum of these two, which is 8. Then the, these two, that would be 13, 21, and 34, and on and on like this. You can see that this doesn't have a particular general equation other than that the next element is simply the sum of the two elements that came before it. And that is known as the Fibonacci sequence, which was set up many hundreds of years ago. I believe that he was born in 1175, which means that's the 12th century. So you can see that people have been looking at sequences of numbers already for a very long time. So now you hopefully understand what a sequence is, and we'll go ahead and talk a little bit about some of the properties of sequences before we move on to the next topic in the set. We'll look at some series after that.